Welcome everybody to another episode of Respect to Check It. Today we're going to be talking about how the fourth suspect in XXX's murder just got sentenced. I was going to do a Respect to Check It after the first three caught their time, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to push it off and I'm going to wait and see what the person who ratted, Robert Allen, what he ends up getting, you know, after everyone else got set. So y'all sit back, get your popcorn ready, and let's go ahead and get into this. Ah! <laughs> I'm the best, finna be this way till I EOS Take it how you want, nigga, yeah, I'm a pro Fuck around, I'll bust your lot while you're at Vizzo I hate to be this way, but I live for the moment Waking up every day, show me an opponent Shanks on deck, hitting bitches with locks So much pool, I can even start you from the box You don't wanna pay rent, got me bent Got lacks on deck, your money was well spent Vultures on the prowl, so don't try testing Step two, cause violent first steps, finessing You a hold down man, suitcase this My cell phone, I'm a charger, don't walk with a limp Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it Next time I see you ass, you gon' need airlifted What's up, y'all? You already know, man, K Frog TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and do me that solid favor, man. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And also make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Welcome back to another episode of Respected to Check It. For this one here, man, we're going to be talking about the time that the fourth suspect in the murder case of XXX just received. All right. Now, for those that don't know, when I do these Respected to Check It's, I let y'all know if I respect what happened or if we got to check that shit. Okay. For those that don't really know what's going on with the situation, XXX was actually murdered down here in Broward County where I'm from. A lot of people knew his music, a lot of people didn't. He you know his mugshot went viral and he was actually murdered outside of, you know, a bike short store per with money on him getting ready to purchase, you know, a bike. He was looking at bikes and stuff to purchase when he got ran down on and got gunned down. Now, one thing that I will say is this video right here, I felt like dropping due to the differences. This is what shows y'all when it comes to the first to talk is the first to walk. And that shit is not respected, okay? The first three people that were sentenced about this whole situation all received life sentences with no possible chance of parole. For those that don't know down here in Florida, we don't even do parole no more. You see what I'm saying? But they got life. All right. Now you got the fourth dude, the one that we're speaking on, Robert Allen. Okay. Him, he was the one that took the stand and decided to testify on everybody the entire time and give them basically everything that they can use to know what happened from point A to point Z. Okay. At the end of the day, like I said, as you can see, the first to talk is the first to walk. Okay. The reason that I don't respect this shit and I feel like we have to check it is due to this one simple fact, all right? Not only did he tell, which that right there is not respected, okay? You participated in that crime. You know, you you was in that field at that moment. You got to be ready to take the consequences that come with it. Now, at the end of the day, you know, apparently it was supposed to only be a robbery, but they ended up doing more and killing him in the transaction, you know, as the whole situation was going down. And Robert Allen himself wasn't a shooter, okay? But... At the same time, I feel like if you're going to get yourself in this type of, you know, activity and participate in something, you need to be dealt with the same. Now, what really pops up into my mind to where I feel like the justice system is just so wrong and so flawed and so crucial is this one thing that took place that a lot of people probably let go over their heads during the sentencing of the first three people. Okay. Now, the one dude that they call Chucky. His last name's Williams, all right? When he was sentenced by the judge, you know, the judge said to him, even though you didn't kill nobody yourself, you know, you still went inside that store and you still, you know, got on the phone, you, you know, you, you, you still identified him. You still went in there and wanted to identify that that was XXX, right? Okay, so a person wouldn't have been murdered without you. Now, Robert Allen... This is where I feel like it's wrong, where, why it's wrong. You know, I don't wish time amongst anybody, but I do think it's 100% wrong how they gave the other dude life because he went in there and identified XXX and said XXX wouldn't have been, you know, murdered if he didn't identify him. But Robert Allen was also the one that went in with them also and got on his phone and was calling out there to them boys to say yes, 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 to identify him. You feel me? So they basically gave the other dude life for the shootings that the other two dudes did, but let Robert Allen only get seven years, 
You feel me? Only seven years when he participated in the same exact amount as the other dude that got a life sentence. You see, so that dude got a life sentence because he didn't tell. And Robert Allen only got seven years because he was the first one to tell. You see, in all reality, when you look at it and you break it down, the reason behind it, you know, you look at it like they little boyed Robert Allen through it all, okay? Because if for people who've been paying attention to the, the murder trial and they know how it is and they know how they hit for, you know, 50 grand, they only gave him $5,000. Everybody else split the rest, you see? So when you look at it, you're like, damn, well, they all get 15, he gets five. They little boyed him from the get-go, you understand? And it was due to say that he said on stand that them boys didn't want to give him no money. You know, they gave him five grand just to shut him up probably, you feel me? But it just shows at the same time, since them boys were little boying you, you know, and they weren't splitting the lick evenly how it should have went down, he felt some type of way, like, man, I'm not, you know, finna lose my life or throw my life away, you know, for this shit, for these same dudes that, you know, wasn't even breaking me off the right way. In all reality, y'all know, when it comes to committing crimes and shit like that, whoever you hit the lick with is supposed to be 50-50, you know, it's supposed to be broke down however it is. If it's three people, four people, two people, whatever it is, that shit's supposed to be divided equally, evenly. But since they little boyed him, I guess that's probably in the back of his mind. I'm not going to do a life sentence for these same dudes that tried me like that. And he feels like that gives him the right to tell. I feel like we got to check it. You know what I'm saying? It is not respected. And like I said, I don't wish time amongst nobody. Not even my worst enemies out there, you know. But at the same time, you can't use the system on one person one way and then the opposite way during the same case when both people played the same amount of, you know, intake of the situation. That's how I look at it. That's why I feel like, regardless of him snitching, that's why I feel like we can't respect him at all. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's a dummy. He's a dummy for even getting involved, for even being a part of that whole situation from the get-go. But what's more of what I need to respect or check is him catching seven years. I feel like we got to check that shit. It cannot be respected because, like I said, the other dude, Williams, did the same amount, participated the same amount. You get what I'm saying? You give three of them life, one of them seven years. Seven years is nothing. That is literally a slap on the wrist. I know some people watching are probably like, man, shit, seven years is seven years. Man, look at how much time they've already been in prison. Even if they didn't credit him at the time he did in the county jail or you know compared to how long the other dudes already been in prison you know they, they sent them up the road first they've already been separated at their main camps in florida down here and everything they've only been in prison about a month or two you feel me but as far as with him if they credit him the time he did in the county jail, man, he comes home soon as hell. If they didn't, he's got a fresh seven years. That's still totally different than a life sentence like all these other dudes did. You see what I'm saying? You know, yeah, two of them were the shooters. One of them just identified XXX. This dude here wasn't a shooter himself, but he was the second person that identified XXX. And when you use the footage on the other dude who caught life, when you use the footage of him walking inside the store and you and he's wants to see if it's XXX before they rob him and all that, who's he walking in the store with? Robert Allen, the same person who was snitching. So it's like he chose the snitch role, but I feel like at the end of the day, they shouldn't spare you because of that. You know, I feel like a lot more people abuse that snitching shit, you know, than it's required. I feel like at the end of the day, they let people off for the, like, most serious shit, you know what I'm saying? But then the littlest things, they'll bam them and give them a shitload of time. It's like they're always trying to make examples, you know? So it's kind of like, okay, well, if you would have just told us them two dudes were the shooters, then you would have been on the streets too. How are you going to send one up the road for life and the other one only give them seven years? So I feel like I got to check that shit. I cannot respect that shit. And I don't wish time amongst nobody. But if you look at how the sentencing was, it was either, man, you give them all this or all that. 
or, you know, at the end of the day, because they all participated the same way. You feel me? Just because two were the shooters and two weren't. I feel like the justice system was wrong by that. I feel like him telling, you know, wasn't enough, you feel me, to just give them three life and not him when he participated in the same exact amount. It would have been different if he didn't want to get in the car. It would have been different if he wasn't there. He just heard. He was just the driver and different things like that. Then, you know, he, he's got his little loopholes. But literally, the judge said out of his own mouth when he was sentencing Williams, you may not have murdered someone or pulled the trigger yourself, but you walking in that store and identifying him as being who it was led to him being killed. He would have not been killed if you didn't do that. And that's the same thing for the other dude. And just because he told, he caught seven years. So I'm letting y'all know, man, me, I do not respect it. I got to check it. Y'all got to let me know what y'all think in the comment sections. Do y'all respect that shit or do y'all check that shit? To me, shit's crazy the way it works. Think about it. I ain't even killed nobody and I caught five years in prison. This dude here did every, all of his, all of his co-defendants got life. You feel me? And this other dude caught seven. That's only two years more than what I did for the petty shit I went up the road for. You see what I'm saying? So you got to look at it, man. That shit is a slap on the wrist. If people could get away with murder and only catch seven years, you know how much higher the murder rate would be and the killing rates? Just think about it. Seven years sounds like a lot, but trust me, it isn't. When everybody else that was involved with you just got a life sentence, you're just happy to have a date. Them other dudes, when they get their slip once a month down here in Florida prison, it says 12 9 as their release date. You see what I'm saying? That's what all lifers show. But anyways, comment section's up to y'all, man. I felt like throwing this video together for y'all real quick. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for the next one. Like I always say, keep them rats, squares, clowns, chomos, pedos, gunners, wannabe island boys, and clout chasers out your circle. Till next time, this the one and only. I am my team, Frog. I'm a criminal, I'm a cool nigga, but I got a limit though. I'm a cool nigga, but I got a limit though. Cause I'm a criminal, yeah, I'm a criminal.